Hi everybody, this is Eugene O'Loughlin and welcome to my series of short how-to videos. In this video, we're going to learn how to add a column to a data frame in R. Now there'll be many times when you are uh, manipulating files, um, bringing information from one file into another, merging files and so on, that you may want to have the opportunity to add a column to an existing data frame. So before we start, let's take a look at a data frame. Uh, I've got a data frame here uh, in stored in a file called 61A underscore data underscore file dot CSV. So this CSV file contains weather data downloaded from weather.com. Uh, it's uh, weather data based on Dublin in Ireland where I live. So let's run this file and take a look at the contents of the file. And you can see the data uh, contains dates um, for 10 days. We've got the high temperature in Celsius, low temperature also in degrees Celsius and some conditions. And I'd like to be able to add in an extra column here to the right of this into my data frame. And the one I'm going to use uh, contains information about wind uh, speeds on the same dates um, here in Dublin. So I've got that stored in a second file, uh, 61b underscore data underscore file dot CSV. This CSV file uh, also contains uh, wind data downloaded from weather.com. And both of these files, both of these CSV files that I'm using here, plus all our scripts are available in my GitHub. Uh, you'll find a link to that in the information section below the video on the YouTube page. So let me read in the second uh, CSV file. So this is, an, another, this is the second data frame. And when I print this out, you can see it's a data frame that contains dates, uh, the same dates as in the previous data frame, but only this time it contains just wind speed. So what I'd like to be able to do is if I scroll up here, is I'd like to be able to add in a column for wind speed to the right of these other columns in my data frame. Now, as it happens, it's actually quite easy to do. So let's go ahead and have a look at the code to do that. So what I'm essentially doing is I'm going to take my existing uh, data frame for weather, that's the one read in on line four in the code you see here, and then add the uh, information on the wind variable, wind speed variable, in this from the second data frame and add it into the first. So we do that, uh, I'm going to create a new um, data frame, I'm going to call it new weather, new weather, and I'm going to assign it using the assignment operator using the C bind function. So C B I N D C bind and R bind are functions that we use to combine columns and rows. So uh, don't forget that in the help section of the R Studio screen, if you type in C bind in, in the, into the search, you'll get some information, a description and usage of the C bind function as well as the R bind function. So the C bind function, what we need to be able to do is we're going to bind the weather data frame that we already have. So that's W E A T H E R comma, and we want to add the wind speed information from the file, that from the data that we see on the, in the second output, second data frame here. So we want to add in the wind speed variable. So we can see on line seven that the data frame is called wind. So I'm going to use the name here, use the dollar sign, and now indicate the wind speed. Uh, so to note that it's wind dot speed. So indicate the wind speed data that we want to combine with the weather data frame. Now the order that you do this is important here because we don't want to um, put the weather data after the wind speed data. We want the wind speed data to be to the right of our column. So let's, uh, so the CBind function is essentially what it's doing. It's combining my first data frame containing uh, the four variables on temperature and so on. And I'm adding in from the wind da data frame, just the wind speed, not adding in date. So let's run that. And I'm going to print out new weather to take a look at it. So run that piece of code. And now you can see that the wind speed variable has ad been added in on the right hand side where I wanted it to go. So the dates match up and the wind speeds are now part of my data frame. You can see one thing that I'd like to change here at the end here, just to wrap this up and tidy things up, is we can see that the uh, column name is the name of the variable that I used on line 10 in the code. So I'd like to change that to just wind speed. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to uh, use the names function on, on my new weather. So I essentially want to read in my new weather data and change the variable that's currently called wind dollar sign wind dot speed. I want to change that to just wind speed on its own. So new weather, square brackets, <clears throat> names again, new weather, this time use the equals operator to two equal signs. 
So the one that I have, I'm going to read that. I'm going to actually show how this is done. I'm going to copy and paste it from the console. So that goes into the um, in between the inverted commas here, wind speed. So that's what that code is doing is it's picking up the wind speed variable from the new weather data frame. And now I just want to assign that a new value called wind. I'm going to keep the dot speed. No brackets or anything after all of that. Let's look at the full line. So we can see here I'm using, I'm checking out all the names in the data in data frame, and then I'm honing in on just the wind speed data with the dollar sign and looks a bit messy. And I'm just going to assign it then the new name wind.speed. So let's run this piece of code. Take another look at news at the take another look at the the data set. W E just fix the typo there. W E A T H E R. So run that. And we can see that we have changed the variable name. Just a quick thing to tidy up our variables at the end as well. So that's how you add a column to a data frame in R. I hope you found this video useful. Thank you for your attention.